Therefore, you can only get the suspense element going by giving the audience information. It's kinda hot out here for a pimp. It's pretty hot out here today. Shoot, out here in the streets. Whee! Zen Dude Nation, before you even get into this video, can I just thank each and every one of you for being a part of this community? This community is nothing without you. So thank you again, and let's get into the video. I don't know about you, but when I used to travel and get outside my normal routine, I was completely overwhelmed by thinking about how am I gonna get my workout in, what gym am I gonna go to, what workout am I gonna do? It was just a lot, and because it was a lot, sometimes a week would go by and I wouldn't exercise at all. And because it seems so overwhelming, sometimes it is easier just to be like, you know what, forget it, I'll wait till I get back home, then I'll get back in my program then. Nuh uh, nuh uh, 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 no, 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 no. So instead, what we want you to do is follow these simple steps we're about to give you to make working out a normal part of your travel routine. Yo, man, don't be honking at me, talking to Zen New Nation over here. Now before we get into that, if you do want to grab some of the workouts we're about to tell you about in this video, you can click the top right hand corner of the screen and get into our free four week challenge where we give you four weeks of jump rope and body weight workouts for free and I coach you up and Dan coach you up and the other people in the group give you love and it's all good stuff. So you can click that right now if you want to. Now let's see what's up with these steps. Step number one, do not overextend yourself when you are traveling. You might just be the kind of person that when you're back home and you're in your normal routine, you do yoga five times a week and you do weightlifting six times a week and you jump rope three times a week and you have all this stuff that you do. When you're traveling, make it simple. Don't overextend yourself. Commit to working out on 60 to 70% of your travel days and only working out for 15 to 20 minutes each session. Now, does that mean you have to cut it short if you're loving life and you're just moving your body and it's awesome? No, but we're saying 15 to 20 minutes needs to be a budget you put together for your workouts while you're traveling on the road. Step two goes to the people who are really, really busy when they're traveling. And for those people, I say try to make your workout a part of your normal travel routine. So hear me out on this one. That means if you're in New York City, for example, you might have to be traveling and walking all over the city. Don't try to overextend yourself. If you are walking five to 10 miles a day, that's cool. That's your workout while you're traveling for that day. Now, if you're not walking around a lot, try to find a way to move your body that fits in with whatever meetings or things you have set up around a city or a place you're visiting. So if you're gonna work or you have a meeting somewhere specifically, map out and try to find a park nearby. If there's a park nearby, you can just walk over five, 10 minutes after your meeting or after you get done working and you can go get 15, 20 minutes of jump rope or anything else you wanna do while you're there. Speaking of jump rope, if you do want a jump rope workout you can do in parks, I would click the button in the top right hand corner right now because we have one for you. So open in a new tab and uh, you can do that next time you're traveling. Step three, get it done early. Here's the thing. Energy is a finite resource. If you have so much going on, a whole whirlwind of stuff throughout the beginning of your day, by the time you get to like 7 or 8 p.m. when you're trying to like turn off mentally, you're not gonna have the energy to work out. So use this finite energy, get it in early. Do it before you even start your day, maybe in the morning before you even leave to go do whatever business or whatever obligations you have for the rest of the day or break up your day by doing it before lunch so you can move your body and if you follow some of the stuff we talk about when it comes to intermittent fasting, you can break your fast after your workout with your lunch. Is that to say you can't work out later in the day? No, but I'm trying to make this easier for you. Energy is a finite resource and if you have a hard time working out when you're traveling, then don't leave it till the last minute, all right? Make sure that you're scheduling it in, you're budgeting it in earlier in your day. Step four, set a standard for yourself. So many of us will go on a trip and we'll say, you know what, I really wanna work out while I'm traveling, but seven days will go by, and then you get home and you realize you didn't work out one time. You're like, what happened to the week? Well, what happened to the week was you didn't schedule it in. So what you need to do is put that budgeted workout in. At minimum, try to move your body 70% of the week. So, you know, when you're traveling five, sometimes even up to six days a week, try to move your body. Not just for the physical benefits, but while you're traveling, sometimes it gets to be emotionally stressful and going and moving your body will help you release some of that energy. 
Step number five, do something that's fun. The whole point of this fitness stuff is so you have a long life that you enjoy. So what we want you to do is really try to integrate your worlds. Find a way to make moving your body integrate with a travel you already have to do. Awesome ways to do this are exploring the cities or new places that you're going to. Or even if you've been there multiple times before, just go explore there. If you're in New York City, go up to the High Line and walk or jog or run or jump rope or just do something and check that thing out. It's awesome. If you're in Austin, Texas, get up on a stand-up paddle board and go out in the lake for a little bit. If you're in Los Angeles or San Diego, try out surfing. If you're up in Portland, Oregon, go for a bike ride around the city. I could go on and on about the dope places that you could go, move your body and explore, but instead, I want you to think about places that you go to. The next time you're gonna go somewhere new, plot out some places in the city where you can go make your workout a part of travel, adventure, and just enjoying life. All right, Zendu Nation, if you like this video, make sure that you give it a like and comment below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe to the channel. A little screen is gonna come up in a second. It's gonna be like, yo, click me, click me. So if you're not subscribed, subscribe. You'll get access to all the other videos as they come out. And finally, tell your friends. Again, like I said in the beginning of the video, we could not be more appreciative of this community. All of you are so awesome. And we just want more awesome people in here. So if you have friends that you think would enjoy what's going on here at Zendu Fitness, bring them in the family. All Zen dudes and dudettes are welcome.